discussing the large-scale structure of the cosmos, astronomers sometimes say that space is curved, or that the universe is uh, finite but unbounded. Whatever are they talking about? We are three-dimensional creatures trapped in three dimensions. We imagine our universe to be flat in three dimensions, but maybe it's curved into a fourth. We can talk about a fourth physical dimension, but we can't experience it. No one can point to the fourth dimension. I mean, there's left, right, and there's forward, back, there's up, down, and uh, there's uh, some other direction simultaneously at right angles to those familiar three dimensions. Now, imagine this universe is expanding. If we blow it up like a four-dimensional balloon, what happens? An astronomer in a given galaxy thinks all the other galaxies are running away from him. The more distant the galaxy, the faster it seems to be moving. This is just what Hummison and Hubble found. On the surface of this curved universe, there is no boundary or center. The universe can be both finite and unbounded. The red shift of the distant galaxies seemed to imply to Hummison's contemporaries that we were at the center of an expanding universe, that our place in space was somehow privileged. But if the universe is expanding, whether or not it's curved into a fourth dimension, observers on every galaxy will see precisely the same thing. All the galaxies rushing away from them as if they had made some dreadful intergalactic social blunder. If there's enough matter to close the universe gravitationally, then it's wrapped in on itself like a sphere. If there isn't enough matter to close the cosmos, then our universe has an open shape extending forever in all directions. This saddle universe is only one of an infinite number of possible kinds of open universes. Unlike such closed universes as the sphere, Open universes have in them an infinite amount of space. <laughs>